So I'm back again with a new video. I decided to just make stuff that I like now so you guys get to hear about my pets. First, I'm going to focus on my most recent additions to my pet group, which are my chinchillas that I actually got like three years ago, but it's okay. I'll probably also talk about their care since they're exotics with specific needs, just in case anybody falls in love and wants some just like I did. First, I got my standard gray and I named him Aegon. I got him from a family friend whose brother no longer wanted or could care for him properly. I don't remember the exact reason why they were getting rid of him, but they were getting rid of him. My friends knew I was looking into getting a small pet soon and offered him to me, and I agreed to take him in. I did a quick crash course research on care and put together an enclosure from an old bookshelf. I was not super educated on exact needs of chinchillas, but I knew he needed an enclosure and I knew he needed it cold. This was also my way of justifying installing central air into my home after going through two pretty miserable summers. <laughs> Uh, so we got Aegon, and then I did more research and saw that they do pretty well with friends. Like, it's not like guinea pigs where they need friends or they just get super depressed, but they do well. They do well in groups. So I decided to get another male. I did not need baby chinchillas running around. I didn't know anything about babies, so I found a rescue that was a few hours away that just took in like 50 or more chinchillas from a failed breeding or hoarding situation. I contacted the rescue and decided to adopt a beige chinchilla, which is honestly just kind of browner and lighter than the standard gray, and I named him Tarly. Tarly came in and I decided to join a chinchillas group on Facebook because I still didn't know a whole lot about their care. I learned from experienced breeders and rescues that my bookshelf cage that was made of wood and not super healthy wood <laughs> was not the best for them. So I got on Facebook Marketplace and my local classifieds and found a secondhand double critter nation cage. And I got it. I sewed fleece to cover the plastic pans that come with it because... They're, they they chew, they're rodents, and they can get sick if they eat the plastic. And the fleece is a good fabric because it wicks away moisture because they're going to pee on it. And then if they do chew the fleece, it's not stringy, so the strings won't get into their system and tie up their insides. So fleece is, fleece is a good way to go. So I got the fleece, I sewed it into pillowcase type coverings for the plastic pans, and I got some kiln dried pine. <laughs> And I installed that so that they had ledges to jump on, and I had a couple of pretty happy chinchillas. My chinchillas are, from what I hear, pretty typical in the way that they behave. I see pictures all the time of people with their adorable chinchillas on their heads, or just chilling on their lap, watching a movie, relaxing. I see videos of them getting little scratches under their chin, and it's so cute. And mine don't do that. <laughs> They like each other. They like each other. They groom each other, which is super cute. They snuggle. They eat side by side. They nap in their hammock together. But when it comes to me, it's kind of a no-go most of the time. Aegon is more friendly and lets me hold him sometimes. He also accepts head scratches, but not chinny chin scratches, which is unfortunate because when you scratch them under their chin, it looks like they're smiling. But, uh... He doesn't like that. And Tarly, being a rescue from a relatively high stress situation, really just prefers that I leave him alone. And you know, that's okay with me. My enjoyment of these kinds of pets isn't affection or companionship that comes from like dogs and cats. I think the reason I love keeping them so much, even though they don't care about me at all, <laughs> is because I get a kick out of providing for them. Like, knowing that I brought something into another creature's life that makes their life better. It just fills my soul with joy, and I love it. I... Like, if I buy a new toy for them, and they run up to it and start chewing on it, and they're just so cute, and I love it, and I know they're happy, and they're happy because of me, and it it's the best. Providing their needs is the biggest part, obviously, of owning these pets, and they are exotics. But honestly, their startup price is pretty high with the cage and the air conditioning, but overall, I find them really easy to maintain. They don't stink. They they poop a lot, but their poop is, is rodent poop, and it's hard pellets. You just kind of, you can sweep them up, you can vacuum. Not a big deal. But what they need, they need a place to live. 
A large metal cage like the Critter Nation or the Ferret Nation with bars that they can't squeeze through. They look super chunky, but it is all fluff. Like you poke them and your finger just keeps going. Just keeps going. They also need air conditioning. Like, people like to think that that's a luxury, and it is for people most of the time. Not all the time, but most of the time. Chinchillas need it. They need a window unit, or they need the house to be air conditioned. They they have all this fluff, and it's like a winter coat, and they don't sweat. <laughs> so they can overheat really easily. They're also idiots, and exercise even when they're hot. So they need the air around them to be conditioned. They also got to eat. <laughs> but it's not like rabbits or guinea pigs, where the rabbits and guinea pigs, they kind of need fresh produce, like, you know, leaves, mostly leaves. I don't know what rabbits and guinea pigs eat. I know they eat produce. But chinchillas, their diet is super simple. They need a nutritious pellet and timothy hay. You just give them what they eat. They self-regulate really well. So I just fill their bowl up with pellets and I put hay in their cage. I usually stick it in a hammock because that way it is a little less messy. It's not not messy, but it's a little less messy. Oh, they also need water, <laughs> but I think we could get that one on our own, right? <laughs> but the best, the best part of taking care of chinchillas is when they need to get clean. They don't, we, we can't bathe them in water. Their fur is so dense and thick, it prevents parasites, like they can't get fleas, but like it is so thick that getting wet is just not ideal. So you put their little bathhouse in and it's full of volcanic dust, just really fine volcanic dust. And they love it. They run to it immediately, as fast as they can. They get in there, they roll around, they dig in it. They just love it. If I ever, like, can't find one, I just tap on their little dust house and they just come running immediately. And I love it. And they roll around and it's the best. I'll try to include a video here, like, at the end of them rolling around in it because I love it. This is the end, by the way. Goodbye.